Hey everybody, I'm making this video to show you how I got this working here. I got an RTA, um, the Studio 6 RTA program is what I have for my iPad. Um, working with an external microphone, I'm using a Behringer, um, with their ECM 8000 uh, calibration microphone. It's pretty inexpensive, I think it was about 80 bucks. And I'm using the uh, C entrance uh, mic port, which provides phantom power. Uh, it's the MicPort Pro, and it uh, is a 2496 mic port. It has a little phantom power button on the bottom. And usually if you plug this into the iPad, what would happen is it would just say that it takes too much power. So what you need to do is one of two things. Either use a powered USB hub to plug all this stuff in, or the way I've remedied it right now, and it seems to be working, is to use a... Uh, this is just a non-powered hub here, a little four-port hub, and I have this little Duracell. Uh, it's a power. It's for iPhones, to power iPhones or any phones. Um, it's a rechargeable power device. So this is plugged into the hub to give it power for all this stuff. And then um, going in using the, um, the uh, USB connection kit, and it seems to all work and it seems pretty stable. Uh, the thing to do is to plug in all this stuff um, first. Make sure that this Duracell or a power supply is plugged in. You can use a normal pl uh, powered hub will work fine, um, but if you just, like me, you want to be mobile, you can uh, plug all this stuff in, tape this all together, and then you can just plug one device in and use this as a little mobile analyzer rig. Um, the RTA in this Studio 6 seems to be um, working fine. You set it so that it, the microphone is set to dock here and then it'll read the um, information coming from here rather than the internal microphone and um, seems to work all right. As you can see here, I'll turn it off and you can see. See, I'm just turning down. I'm turning down the microphone and there's nothing and then I turn it up here and then there's the sound. Hey, hey, hey! And it all works which is surprising. I didn't think that the iPad would be able to do this, but it is. You just have to get it enough power. Generally, 16 bits is only what it takes um, as far as the input from a USB device. And I am assuming that this is just truncating the uh, bits here because this is a 24 bit by default, 2496. So um, there you go. There's one solution.